answer it to some very simple things, maybe five things. Five things. No single members. Take a sheet from here and one post. Congratulations, <coughs> because you are assumed for this next session of like 45 minutes, you are going to be the very first Scrum Master of a startup project. Okay? And you are going to live through it. Let us see how you live through it. Okay? So, this session is about uh, the challenges and uh, some fun which is there in a uh, first Scrum Master's life, particularly in a startup environment. And how are we going to have this session? How is this session going to be organized? This session is a game. Okay, we are going to play a game. And uh, we'll, slowly, slowly, I'll tell you the details of the game. Okay. But before we get there, uh, whenever we think of a scrum master in a scrum, scrum master, you think of that guy as a, as a, what to say, a servant leader, a superhero who can do a lot of things. But if it comes to a startup environment, uh, it becomes a little difficult, he has to play multiple roles. This is how it looks. It doesn't look like the one before. He's not a super hero. It looks like this. Right? So, you guys can take a chance from there and uh, <coughs> make a post-it note. You guys can form a team. Startup being a scrum master means you have to wear multiple hats. And uh, as you embark on a career of a scrum master or any, any career for that uh, matter where you involve with multiple people, you start to realize that each person is different in his own thinking. And each person has a different way of thinking. You give the same problem to different people, they give different solutions or they may understand the problem differently. Right? So if each person thinks different, right, what happens? If each person is seeing different things from the same whatever you think, whatever you shown to them, what happens? What, what is the result of that? Conflicts. Communication gap. Different views of the same thing. Different views of the same thing. Because of that, what happens? Conflicts. Conflicts happen, right? So this session, this 45 minutes, is not a session like I am the expert, I tell you what to do, you do it. It's not that way. Right? This session is all about understanding other school of thinkers. Okay. So we will be doing like I will be giving you five scenarios. Okay. And out of those five scenarios, we will do some team activity where we learn some things, small, small things that will that you can carry to your graves. Right? Fine. So if each person is thinking different, what do all what do we all wish for ultimately at the end of the day? We want to like, okay, uh, how can I make him understand what I'm thinking? If there is some way where I can just take my brain and put it in his head, that would be great, right? How many of us have seen this situation, have been in this situation? We'll be like so much desperate that, oh my God, why doesn't he understand what I'm trying to say? So, you all, each team now has a different personality. I'll tell you how. So, we are, we are going to uh, conduct this, uh, what to say? Situations like this. You have your grades, right? Yes. And uh, each team has a single brain. And the brain is on the table. What is on the table? Brain. What is that? That chart paper is the team's brain. And each one person from the team, everybody is going to put all their thoughts into a single brain. And then, after one situation is over, we are going to exchange our brains with other people. <coughs> that way, what will happen? We will have some fun. Let us see. Right? So, let us get along. Situation one. So, this is a startup where there, where there are multiple teams. And <coughs> you are the scrum master of just one team, not for all the teams. Right? You are the scrum master of just one team. So this is the first ever sprint planning ever in the entire company. In the, this team is your team is doing the first sprint planning ever. 
and let's see how it goes. Before the student running, you are walking across the hallway, and um, uh, you you find some of your team members standing there along with the product owner. Okay, and uh, before you enter into the meeting, product owner comes and asks, guys, off the record, how many how many pizzas are we going to finish? How many pizzas are we going to finish this? This is what the product owner asks. These two are your team members, okay? Uh, and uh, this is your product owner, the one with the cool beard. That guy is a product owner. Okay, and you are moving in the picture. <laughs> okay. Then what happens? Actually, you are seeing this. And then what happens is your teammates start responding to the product owner. You are just a quiet observer. You are just looking at them. And the one guy says, let us not have huge expectations. Why not start with the same as last two weeks? I teach you. One of your team members says this. Okay. And another team member. Yes, I read somewhere that most teams did extremely hard goals in the first trend and then fail. I don't want my first trend to fail. Let us not make very huge, let us not do that mistake. Okay. Now, you have two people in your team talking to the product owner about how much they have committed, even before the sun plan. And then everybody comes to you and asks, what do you think? Okay. And now, you cannot think everything in the world, but you have some options. The options are, see, this, this, is, this is Scrum Master, you are the student, okay? So, you can choose any of these three options. Option one, let's aim for more than five features. Okay, and option two, you guys are correct, let us not aim as high as five. And option three, I don't want to comment on this now, maybe later. Okay? So this is a very basic question that almost everybody will be able to answer. But answering this question is not a part of this session. It is all about, you just now came to a session. I'll read it if you wish. What, you, what I want you to do is, uh, take your chart and make three columns. Okay, the first column will record the response <coughs> of this question. And the second column will record the wow factors in this entire situation. Oh, this thing is good actually, we should appreciate it. Good that this team is doing that. The wow factors should go in the second column. And the third column should forget, oops. Oh my god, this should never happen. Okay, so I will rerun the situation very quickly so that you can fill in all these three columns. Yeah, first column is the response <laughs> where you, you, each of you, it should not be a team effort. Everybody should take one sticky note, write answer and stick there. Got it? Everybody should write answer and stick there. <laughs> Individual pages, it's not a team effort. But it should go on the same grade. Response is the first column. Wow. Okay, A, B or C. And the second column is, wow factor. Good that this is happening. And the third column is, oops factor. Anything that should not happen but is, not, but is happening. Okay? Uh, anybody wants to see the situation from past? Yeah. yeah. This is the word. I'm not saying that. There could be multiple and Sherlock Holmes thing. It could even be the words that people use. There can be multiple wow, multiple loops. You can put that in a single sticky note and stick there. Okay, multiple wow. Once, once one round is over, right, you will get to know what is happening. Yeah. Okay. Okay, for example, uh, assume that some good practices have to be followed in your opinion and they are being followed. Write them in the wow factors. Okay, and in this entire situation, there are something. Yeah, got it? Any questions? Okay, this is the reason of the situation. Product owner asks, guys, off the record, how many pieces are you going to finish in this time? Okay, and then one team member answers, let us not have huge expectations. Only five features. What we did in the last two weeks. Okay, last two weeks we finished five features. So let's do it five weeks. So the first print of our Yes. Who's no no no. This is a team member's response. This is not you are know, going to respond. One of those three options is anyway. This is one team member's response. And the other team member responds something like this. Yeah, I read somewhere that this is usually happens. It does not fail in the first print. And then they ask you what you think. Now you as a scrum master enter your option. Option one, two, or three. Enter 
write their individual responses and paste it on the paper rather than talking and then pasting. So we have to do it from Yes, this is the very first ever sprint happening in that company. Before that they have done some work, but that was not using Scrum or any agile method. Okay, so those five features which they have Something else. We don't know what they are thinking agile. You have three minutes to record your responses. Everybody, everybody, everybody on an individual basis. You can even write in the same sticky note that is fine, but make sure that the, info, the responses come from individuals. That makes it meaningful. Within the team, you will know how many people think differently. That is a that is a point in having everybody right. You can put any number of balls, any number of kids, but each member in the team has to contribute to all these three columns. Yep. So is it something Yes. You have to choose only from these three options. Then they can choose only one option. Yeah, each person can choose only one option. Yeah, put in the response, do your response, and then in the end that situation, you want something that's like, oh, this is good, this is how it should happen. Just write that one line in the wall, and if you find something that's bad, write that one line. So first you put one line, and if you see some curve factor, you all write it down. Yeah. And if you see some curve factor, you all write it down. You need not use sticky notes if you feel that it is very cumbersome. You can write. Yeah. Yeah. Why would we say we then find way resolution? Everybody has to write the work of 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 the Thank you. 
here the uh, positive thing is that uh, we believe that all the team members are involved. Okay. They've been, uh, uh, their opinions are taken into account for estimation. So that's the point we really liked. Yeah. <laughs> so the positive thing is that uh, all the team members are involved before estimation. That is one positive thing. Fine. Anything else? Response we have uh, no comments. Okay. And uh, the second point is like uh, so on the second slide where we have the three questions. Uh, none of the questions have been included in any of the data. So it is like the team was not listening what actually is required. Okay. Nothing else? Uh, no. Okay. Nothing else? <laughs> Once again, let me be frank about it. If you don't listen to other people, you will never get anything out of this session. Right? Better listen. It is the same response that uh, uh, whatever the task that is given, team are not able for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, now there is a lot of confusion, right? There is a lot of confusion about what you are supposed to do. Right? Now, are you clear? Okay, the response is that they feel that the task what they are supposed to do is not properly understood. Okay. So now, not do it again. Do something else in the same manner again. Okay? Yeah. Oh, sorry. See, I am not paying attention at all. We have an option here. Oops, that will ridiculous to measure the features as none of the features will work because E number is this is a normal Team members, just two team members? Are you joking? <laughs> Unplanned outage of teams. Unplanned outage of teams. Yes. Uh, we are not able to get that. <laughs> 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 yeah. So uh, now what you are supposed to do, is that clear? Yes. Now that one round is over? Okay, let us go to the second one real quick. Um, so now the sprint planning has started. You are getting into that room. There is let's say, there is usually a meeting room where you do sprint planning, right? You get into that meeting room, and the moment you get into this meeting room, your two team members are standing like this. Okay, you have a white or blackboard, whatever it is, and uh, something is written on that. They have written sprint planning, <laughs> and then written sprint start date first May, sprint end date 15th May, and then one person is telling you. We thought of saving some of the time, so we came here yesterday and wrote down some details to start with. How does it look? <laughs> okay. And uh, you see that and then say, okay, good, but can you feel this also? Number of days available for work? Okay. And then uh, one team member writes, okay, he's very fast and he writes 15, pretty straightforward. May 1 to May 15, 15 days, what is there in this? Right? And then, now you have a very small question. This is not the entire question for this response, but think about this question. Does this look correct? No. No? no. no? Okay. Proceed. And then you go and say, boss, this is the birthday calendar. Okay? We have five days every week, and the one day is a holiday. Now the number 15 came down to number 9 in your calculation. And you are saying, no, we can work. Right? Now, uh, there is a number 15 and there is a number 9. Okay. Now the question here is, with your current whatever sheet you are holding, again do the same thing. If you need additional sheet, you can take it. Okay. Uh, why do you think the difference between 15 and 9 matters? And also in the entire scenario, record what two things? Wow and oops factors. Okay. Response is, your response to this question. Why do you think the difference between 9 and 15 matters? Start, you have two minutes. Huh? Take another sheet. If you wish, take another sheet from this. No, you can get a different sheet. I would count only 75% of the capacity. I would not count the 100% of the capacity. Oh, there was one. The number of hours of uh, capacity available to our team member would be different. So ideally, basically, the stomach should do a capacity planning exercise. 
So there is a reason behind giving you one sheet. Start, 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 get to work. For next two weeks. So based on the new plan, based on the availability, based on the Why do you think that's going to be Yeah, because that directly impacts your capacity. You want to rename up the scenario for that war one oops? Commitment, right? Yeah. So first of all, you... Write your own individual opinions. Discussions can happen later on. Write your own individual opinions. Discussions can happen later on. The faster you complete, more interesting situations will come. You want a rerun of this for the power moves? Why does the difference matter between 15 and 9? Why does it matter? That is a question. For that you need to write a response. Right? And in this entire situation starting from here, where people wrote something on blackboard ahead of you, okay, you can write some words and some words. Done? Yes, exchange, exchange, exchange. Exchange with random people, not with your neighbors. No. That way you will not be dragged. <laughs> Exchange. <laughs> Your brain should not come back to you ever. And get into the same process. Analyze and you should be ready with the response when you come to Something that is funny, non-obvious or interesting. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We want one one team to give their current sheet to these people. Five people have exchanged. This is what happens when some, somebody doesn't exchange.
Hello. Uh, the brain we got was quite an empty brain. <laughs> responses and all the wow moments are actually the oops moments okay so wow was also empty so we shifted all the wow to oops And the, the best can part is that they are, they are assuming that, uh, and they are writing that by assuming that, assuming that we have one day holiday was wrong. No, that was actual calendar. Yeah, that's why. Right. That's a communication calculation. Right? Who wants to go next year? I want to say one more thing here. Even we do not have nine days because uh, four hours will go in sprint planning. There will be uh, one or two hours in sprint review and sprint retrospective. Nobody is considering that time. Yes. 
Yes. That is still okay, only 15 uh, minutes, Five. but Five. other things we can't ignore. Mm -hmm. Anything interesting there? Okay, covered. I think most of the people, they are just looking at the, uh, what is wrong and if somebody has written good, they are not reading that out. Oh my god. <laughs> See, don't turn this into, that is why, you, you, you should not explain. Right? When you explain when somebody finds fault with your brain, you give yourself out. Right? Be anonymous. Who else has not spoken? Everybody has spoken. That's true. You? Yeah, finally, we are able to find one uh, good thing. It's about wow. They say that now we have a new velocity, which is much higher, as we can finish the 15 days work in nine days. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> that is great. Okay, the next one. Um, let the brains fly. It's fl fly already, right? It's little. So, your big boss has sent you an email. Okay. Uh, you are going to read that email. So from the big boss at mycompany.com to all scrum masters at your company, okay, received an hour ago. Hi scrum masters, we are thinking of setting an expectation of one release every two months. Okay, I am planning to send a communication to all concerned people regarding this decision. I hope you are fine with releasing a new version. Okay, every second Monday of every alternate month. Second Monday of every alternate month. Please let me know your thoughts. Okay. We will come back to this again and you have three responses. One is you can send an email saying that's awesome, now we do not have to run around the office asking for the proposed next release dates. Okay, that is one possible response. Second one is our product velocity is not so high. Can we release once in every quarter instead? Okay. And the third one is my monthly release sounds good, but just a thought. Can we make it second or if it's the first Thursday instead of second Monday? Right? And uh, you choose and then write a wow and it's factor as well. First. Is there an option for none of the above? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You have to respond. No, no, no. Uh, you can write on the paper. It's fine. You can write on the paper. If you need more paper, take it from here. Fast, 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 fast. So while you are doing this, okay, after you are done, we just have two minutes left it seems. Okay, so after you are done, uh, you can treat this classroom as a situation, okay, whatever you did just now. And the response, what you want to give is, uh, <coughs> did this session help you? For that you need to write a response on that board. And then some wow factors about this session and oops factors about this session. Okay. So finish this and then transfer your brains and let this out again. Okay. Anything fine. Anything that's fine. Nobody's going to see it except me. From this session, entire session. This is a feedback form for me. You can say that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can write what. If you feel that it's not necessary, which means you're agreeing to what he says. Excuse me. Yeah. We need to give response for all three, right? Yeah. What? What? We need to write wow and oops for all three. Anything is fine. This is the, this email is a situation. First email that the boss gave you is a situation. Okay. What is wow and oops about this? Is what you have to write. Okay. And you can choose any of these three responses. One of them. Yeah. If you choose that no response is required, which means that you are agreeing to what he said, that is also fine. Write it. No discussion. Can you agree? Yeah. High school masters getting an expectation of one release every two months. Uh, I am planning to send a communication. I hope we are fine with the releasing new version every second Monday. So it will be like every two months there will be a release and on the second Monday you will have to So if you are done, you can exchange your sheets.
So the entire purpose of this session is to understand the other school of thought. Okay, what do you think may not be the right answer for all the situations in the world? Right? You need to get a hang of this philosophy. That is the entire purpose of this session. What do you think will be wrong in case of other person's opinion? What other person thinks the right will be right wrong in your Fast, fast machines. Let's get it fast. They are giving us five or five more minutes. Thank you. So there is one question of what will be the outcome of this session. Excuse me, attention please. What will be the outcome of this session is a question. You tell us what is the outcome of this session. Outcome of this situation is every brain functions differently. Every brain functions differently. Confusion and then. And then? There is no right or wrong. Every brain is pretty much the same. We need to take all the perspectives because no There are multiple perspectives with which you have to work. Right? And each perspective is not same. Some might conflict with your opinion. Some one else might conflict. And no, there is no black or white. Depending on context, things will change. Right? So there is one more situation. I will publish these slides, okay? So that you can go through that situation also and get to that is a chat, chat based situation. This is a that's a chat based situation. Uh, in my probably <laughs> Okay, it's there on slide share. Search with this uh, text, the uh, session name, you'll get this slide. It's there on slide share. Done? One round of responses from here and there? Yeah, please. Yeah, so there are a lot of options A, B, C. So I think the text is not there for to understand that what you meant by writing that. If there would be a small text, we could have correlated better. Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, because wow factors needed some options, not A, B, C. So wow factor, what is good about that? So there the options at least should not be there. So there is a communication gap. And the wow factor mentioned is good that we uh, we know the date so we can concentrate. So that's the good part. And uh, the bad part is that it has no discussion to come to a common. So that is also a good point. No discussion is allowed, is it? Yeah. No. That, that's saying that no factor is that management has given okay, a management date. Management has given and they have not discussed discuss. about it, anything about that. So okay. we agree to that factor. Okay. So the team will not have completed. Okay, okay. Fast, fast, fast. We'll finish it here. One boss will ensure Big Boss is not imposing the decision and ready for the decision. Big Boss is not imposing the decision. He is ready for discussion. That is a wow factor. Somebody? Okay. This seems to be a command and control style. The boss is saying an email, but that sounds like I have decided already. So this email is being seen as a command and control mentality. Anything else? Oh my God! That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Tell you. I think the 
I think they are agreeing for A option, most of them. So they have been collecting uh, same view. Yeah. So they are uh, converging. So okay. that is a good thing. And same cycle for all projects. That's a cycle. Same cycle for all the projects. That is a OOPS factor. Done, right? So yeah, thank you. And this session's outcome, if you have any feedback, you can leave it there. And probably I will keep it outside so that you can I will keep the sheet outside so that you can leave your feedback. Thank you.